let's go and take a look at um, this problem, guys. So in this one, we have our initial point and our terminal point. Um, so P is going to be our initial point, and Q is our terminal point. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you guys how to find component form. But I'm going to do component form for two of them. I'm going to do from, let's find the component form from P to Q. And then let's also find the component form from Q to P. All right. Now, again, I showed you guys for as far as understanding the distance formula, a lot of times we use these as x1, y1 to represent like coordinate points, right? Well, here, as I noted in my notes, we can also label them like p1, p2. And this would be q1, comma, q2. Like those are the components of your p and your q as your points. So if you guys look at the component form, Basically, all we're trying to do to find the, PQ, find the component form of from P to Q, we're just finding the change from Q1 to P1, right? We want to find the change from the first component to the second, I'm sorry, from the first component to the second component. So in this one, we're just going to do Q1 minus P1, comma, Q2 minus P2. Oops. OK, so we can go ahead and do our math here. So Q1 is going to be 1 minus negative 3. Be careful with your parentheses. And then Q, Q2 is negative 3 minus 1. So therefore, this gives me a vector of 4 comma negative 4. Yes? Now let's actually graph that right here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, So again, remember, guys, component form starts at 0, 0 as your initial point, and then extends to there. Okay? So there is my component. There is my vector p to q. p to q. What do you guys notice? What do you guys recognize um, about this vector compared to the original vector that you guys graphed? You guys recognize anything? Maybe my graph isn't as good. It's what? Yeah, it's like parallel, right? It's the same length, right? I know my graphing is not like the best. But guys, all I did was I took that initial vector, your initial and your terminal point, and by identifying the component form, I basically just shifted it so the initial point is at the origin. That's all I did. That's really all component form does. Now you might say, well, Mr. Like, why is that better? Like, what is that helpful? Well, again, if I asked you guys to find the magnitude right, of this vector, yes, you could do the magnitude using the distance formula. Yes, you could create a triangle here and then use the Pythagorean theorem. But isn't it really easy to find like, the sides of a triangle when you're starting at the origin? Right? You can just count. Like, and basically what you recognize is, oh, this is v1, this is v2 right, of your components. So therefore, the magnitude, if we're going to call this vector, my magnitude of pq is just the square root of 4 squared um, plus negative 4 squared. So if I know what the components are, I just take the square root of the sum of their squares. Okay? I just square them, add them, and then take the square root of it. It's really easy. Yes? So we like component form. It's kind of nice. Also, it's going to help us understand the angle. Remember when I talked about what is the angle? What angle do I need to take from P to my Q? To go from here to here. Now here it wasn't so obvious. What do you mean angle? Well, you don't have anything to reference. But now, when we start at the origin, it's a little bit easier to figure out what angle it is because now we can kind of go from standard form. So standard form starts to here, and I need to go in this direction. right? So we know, based on the triangle, that that's 45 degrees. So if I'm going here, then I could say the angle would be, yes, but not in the clockwise direction, would be negative 45 degrees. So we could say the angle from my p to q, or the angle of the vector, which we'll be talking about soon, is going to be a negative 45 degrees. Now, let's say we want to go the other way. Let's say we want to go from q to p. Now again, if I'm going to do q to p, well, I'll do that in the, another. I'll show that in the next video.